Your work is a festival of the senses. Like, it's so sensory. The images are always so rich and so wonderful. And I want to know, what is, your, how, what is your entryway? What is your entry into that particular um, modality? I guess, like, you know, they ask me, where do your images come from? <laughs> but, you know, I know what I'm saying. Like, how do you, um, how do you begin? Well, it's a funny question. Um, I think you, you begin, really, with the poets that you loved when you were mm. first writing, you know, and people like uh, Pablo Neruda, for mm. example, um, Yusef Komanyaka, for example, um, Gwendolyn Brooks, for example. Um, I'm trying to think. There's so many people who affected the way I think about what mm -hmm. poems can do. Anne Sexton, for example, she's oh, another one, really star. rich, yeah, oh really gosh. rich uh, images. And so I think, I mean, w when you find in, in other writers that you admire um, things that, I don't know, the things that resonate mm -hmm. with you make you want to be able to do something similar, you know? So I don't know whether it's deliberate or not, but at a certain point, you begin to think in terms of images, mm -hmm. you know? So I think when I'm writing, I don't, I don't say, I need an image here, mm -hmm. necessarily. You know, you're writing, and it just seems to, it, if there is something you've said that seems to need a, deepen, mm -hmm. a deepening illustration, well, if you're lucky, an image will come, and it doesn't mean it comes, as you know, the first time you could write it and think, oh, that's not yeah. what I mean. But you keep working, and I think um, at a certain point, the creation of imagery in language becomes a habit of mind. Mm -hmm. And so it's like a lot of things. People think, oh, where did you get such a simile, or where did you, well, if you if you read a lot of things, especially if you think about someone like Neruda, who is like wildly rich with uh, similes and strange images, after a certain point, if you're lucky, it plants a seed in your mm -hmm. own head. And so over the years, now I've been writing around 40, I've been trying to write around 40, 46 years now, 40, so thereabouts. And so bit by bit, I think your mind becomes a, a certain kind of place. And mm -hmm. so there's all kinds of pictures in my head and connections. And so when I'm writing, sometimes those things, if I'm lucky, if I'm having a good mm -hmm. day, those things come uh, kind of quickly or readily um, as I said, it doesn't mean it's right the first time, but it's just that I've never, or at least not in recent memory, had a moment when I thought, I don't have any images in my head. Mm -hmm. I have, it feels like I, I'm overwhelmed <laughs> with the possible. <laughs> selection. Yeah, it's too many images in my head. It's a matter of finding the language for mm -hmm. them, in fact. And that's, the, that's where, the, of course, the revisions come in. You know, you want to get the language right, even if the image might be right, the language mm -hmm. has to suit it in a certain way. But that's... That's really the story of my, my life in terms of imagery. I just think the people that I've loved have, you know, have made my mind a different kind of place.